and salutations, everyone. I'm back. That's right. I'm back to uh, cover some species in Fishing Planet that I probably should have covered a real long time ago, but either forgot to do it or just never got around to doing so. Starting off with Sauger on Emerald Lake in New York with this video. If you're a low-level player and you're looking to earn some good cash and XP, Sauger is a good way to go. They pay about as much as the walleye do in both money and experience points. And they're both, uh, walleye and Sauger are both on the same lake here, Emerald Lake in New York. We're gonna go fishing for them. I got my Nero 14 foot 10 inch pole. Now you can get by with a lower level telescopic rod or match rod uh, for float fishing. Got this rod with the Windcast 1500 reel on it. Got that reel lined up with four pound test line. Got the leader set to about 98, 99 inches. Just put that leader as deep as it'll allow you to go using a one knot hook. And I'm gonna be using small minnows and shiners to catch these sauger. So without further delay, let's get out on the lake and uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do some fishing. There we go. Got this motor fired up on this new boat that I got. Part of the uh, the new update that came out with Fishing Planet. Bought myself an old school, looks like a John boat, the kind of boats that I'm used to fishing in uh, when I when I go out on the lakes. Just bought myself one of these, kind of more of a V-hole in real life. Anyways, uh, we're going to go to the far right corner of Emerald Lake in this boat. Hold on, got some people talking to me. Going to go ahead and type out to them real quick. There we go. Okay, gonna go out to the far right corner and there's a little channel back here and I found that uh, this is a good spot if you're looking to catch Sauger, good spot to catch them at. You'll make decent money off them. They pay about the same as walleye and uh, yeah, the walleye are good money makers, the Sauger are good money makers as well. Uh, but you will need a watercraft obviously to get back here. All right, got myself all saddled in, in my boat with the anchor down. Now you see this channel, I'm casting right out to it. And there's a little ledge there. You see the bobber's on its side, but I'm just gonna pull it in until the line drops and that bobber straightens out just like that. Now that ledge, off that ledge is where you wanna be. That's where the sauger hang out. Right in that little uh, channel area, off the ledge. Had real good luck catching sauger here. We'll see if we have good luck catching them today. Give me a second here. Uh, Geek Off a Leash. Shout out to you, Geek Off a Leash. <laughs> Geek Off a Leash is, uh, um, I'm, I'm taking it, he's a fan. And uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead. He, he noticed me in game, going to type out to him here. And wait for a ding, which we just got. And let me get this typed out real quick, just in case the fish decides to take that bobber under. It dinged again. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Oh, I'm still in chat mode. D there we go. All right. All right. Good deal. All right. We got a fish on, guys. Looks like we got a fish on. We'll go ahead and reel this bad boy in, see what it is. Now, I've caught other species out here. Uh, Northern pike occasionally, chain pickerel occasionally, trophy perch occasionally. Uh, but most of the time, we catch sauger. There we go. Nice, uh, nice size sauger there. Good for $147 off of these small minnows and a one-aught hook. Very good. We'll keep it, put it in the keep net, and uh, try for some more. And right, we got another ding. Still typing, guys. Still typing. We got a ding. Good thing I got that out just in case this fish takes it under. A lot of chat. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Got another fish on. A lot of chat going on in this room today. A lot of chat going on in this room today. We're talking about all kinds of different things, mainly the new boats and what kind of cool stuff they could do with it. I think we got another sauger. We sure do. This one's smaller. Good for, it looks like 105 pounds or $105, 105 pounds. That'd be something else. Uh, we'll keep it. Another ding out here. Wait, there we go. Another fish on. Now the sauger don't get real big, guys. Sauger don't get real big. Uh, there are uniques in here. Don't think I've caught a unique sauger yet. Some trophies I've caught in my lifetime here. No uniques. We'll see if this is a sauger. Looks like another sauger. Little uh, 1.5 pounder good for 122 bucks. Uh, they don't get as big as the walleye do. They all are smaller than the walleye. But 
If you do want to catch some of these camo cuties, this is the way to do it. Type this out real quick. So I want to give a shout out to, to Mizzou fan Mike, known uh, Mike for a while. He's been a fan of the videos. We got a ding and uh, some people noticing me in game here. Ling Ling looks like they might be saying hello to me. I don't know. Don't want to be that egotistical to assume that, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, we got a ding here. We'll see if we could uh, we can get a fish if it takes on or another ding. Another ding. Just wait for it to take it under. Looks like it's running out there with it a little bit. Not taking it under right away. It's all right, though. There we go. We got it. We got it on the line. Reel this in. Uh, hard to tell. So it might be a pike if it's breaking water. I don't know yet. Uh, perch tend to break the water as well. Walleye and sauger don't seem to break water too much. Yeah, this looks like another sucker. Don't seem to break water too much. Little guy, good for 79 bucks. This one feels to be a bit larger than the previous uh, sucker we caught. Don't know if it's a sucker. Might be a walleye. Getting up here, not. No, it looks like a sauger. Yep, that's a two pounder, not bad. That's, I think that's the biggest one we've caught so far. Good for $170. Man, we're just hitting them left and right out here. I don't know, this might be a northern pike. That thing broke water out there. Or chain pickerel, maybe. I don't think it's a sauger when they come up. I don't know, it's fighting real weird. It broke water back there. This, this, uh, this is fighting. It's a big one, whatever it is, compared to the rest that we've caught. It is a, a trophy sucker. <laughs> right on, right on. 3.4 pounds, $279. That's what I'm talking about. We'll keep it, put it into keep net. This one's putting up a good fight too. Man, this one's putting up a real good fight. I don't know. This one might be a walleye, I think. That could be a sauger. Maybe we got that elusive, unique sauger. Haven't caught a unique out here yet. We'll see if this is one of them. Or it might be a walleye, probably a, a big walleye or a smaller, medium walleye. Maybe a big sauger, we'll see. I don't think it's a Northern Pike. It's not breaking water. We'll see what it looks like when we get it up here. What do we got here? This one looks like it is another trophy sauger. Good for $301. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is about it. That's how you catch the sauger out here. Like I said, they pay good money for low-level players. Uh, the, about the same as walleye. We'll cast back out here and see if we catch some more. But yeah, that's, that's basically it. Out here, I bumped my hook up, as you can see, uh, to a 2 odd. Still using small minnows, and uh, once I bumped that hook size up, we started catching trophies, it looked like. So, yeah, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you catch Sauger out here on Emerald Lake in New York and Fishing Planet. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you'd like to stay updated on future content, subscribe and click that notification bell. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world, guys. We will. See you next time. Hey, check out those real-life fishing videos I've been doing, too. Promise you guys won't be disappointed.